ITC is renowned for its satellite and sensor data-based research. For validation of such remote sensing data, we offer lab facilities to scientists and students. For my MSU research, I use remote sensing data in rock samples collected in the Rodalquilar in Spain. The data tells me there is a mineral in the rock, but it doesn't tell me which mineral or how it was formed. That's why I have to do additional tests on the rock itself. For this research, I had to go to the geoscience lab to firstly, in the spectroscopy lab, use the specking camera. And uh, with this camera, you get uh, images with very high res spatial resolution that you are able to see stuff that you are not even able to see with your naked eye. I was able to see all the different minerals that were part of the rock samples by looking at the different shapes that they have in the signatures that they produce. Because with this camera, I wasn't able to see the difference in the composition between two minerals. I had to go to the chemical lab to do further tests to determine the elements which the mineral consists of. But prior to that, I have to prepare my samples. So then, with the ICPOES, I was able to see all the different elements that were part of, the, of these minerals. And then with the TGA, I was uh, able to see the chemical structure of uh, these minerals. For my PhD, I study rocks. Um, I focus on the surface of the rocks and how this influences the infrared spectra. Um, I do this by applying different surface preparation methods. I polish the rocks, I saw the rocks and I split them, which results in different surface roughnesses. And then I measure them uh, on, with reflectance spectroscopy to determine their influence on the infrared spectra. So the good thing about the geoscience lab is, is that you have all the equipment that you need for research in there and that you can also use this uh, equipment not only for rocks as I did but like for example pants.